We'll guide you through how to download and install complementary shaders in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. There's two variants of complementary shaders, so I'll be covering them both in this video, but overall they're both great looking packs, so let's go and get started. Go and quit Minecraft. Here we are on my desktop. So now what we need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll go and use Chrome, but you can use another browser of choice and come to a search engine. Now what you need to do is go and type in CurseForge like so, and you want to come to curseforge.com. It's a great place for getting mods and other things from Minecraft and other games from. On the site, select Minecraft, and you can click on the search. And here you want to go and type in complementary shaders, just like so. Then you'll go and see the different packs here. Click on either of them, scroll down into the description and you can go and choose your style and you can go and see a comparison here. So in this case, I'm gonna go for the unbound style so we can go and click there. Then at the top, you can go and click on files and you can scroll down. I like to go and get the latest release, which should be at the top here. You can then go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. Now go and wait. They've now gone and downloaded. And just before we get into the next step, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They should be your go-to Minecraft server host. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So I'll put a link down below so you can go and check them out. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They've got so many awesome features like one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, keeping your server safe, 24 seven servers and 24 seven live chat assistance so your problems can get solved super quickly, ultra latency and much more. So I'll put a link down below for you to check them out. But to go and continue, open a new tab and now we need to get something called Optifine. O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E. This is essentially an optimization tool which allows us to go and install shaders. Go and search for it and come to optifine.net. Then you can come to the top and go and click on downloads. Now what you want to do is go and get the most recent version of Optifine. Do just make sure that it's compatible with the shaders you've got. In this case it is, you can see that by seeing the game version there. So we can click on download. You'll get taken to an ad wall here. Just go and wait. Beware the download button here is for the ad. To go and start the actual download, you need to click the skip button in the top right and you're taken to the download page and then you can click on download and wait. When it's downloaded, you can then open up your file explorer, select downloads to the left. And what you then want to do is go and run Optifine. So go and double click on it like so, and you should get this pop-up. If you don't, maybe something else happens or nothing happens. This means you need to go and get Java. So what we need to do is go and open up a web browser. You can then go straight to java.com or go and search for it. And you can then come to here and you can download it and install it. It's super straightforward. Then you can return to Optifine, right click on it, hover over open with and click on choose another app. Select Java and click on always. And then you can go and click on install like so. You may think nothing's happening, but then you should get the success pop up. So now you want to come and open up the Minecraft launcher like so. Go to the left of the play button and make sure Optifine is selected in the profile section and then click on play. Then what you can do is go and click on options and video settings. You'll go and notice there's quite a few more settings available here now, which is super useful, specifically shaders. So we can go and click there. And then what you can do is go and click on shaders folder. So then what we now need to do is go and add in the shaders packs here. So you can go and open up another file explorer if you don't already have one. And then you want to go and find the pack. Here it is, complementary unbound, and you can drag and drop it in. You'll notice it's then added here. And what you can then do is go and select it. I've got some others here as I've used them before. Now with it selected, we can get into a game. So let me show you what they look like. Here we are, and as you can see, these look absolutely insane. Look at the water. You can go and see there are now more shadows and it looks absolutely insane. 